it doesn't matter what level of care we need. We need sources to pay for care. Medicaid and VA, and that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Now, first of all, let me dispel this notion. In President Obama's health care uh, reform, uh, with all the paragraphs and all of the provisions and all of the gobbledygook that's in there, there is nothing in there that's going to solve the problem we're talking about tonight. Okay? So the solution isn't there. You cannot rely on the government for these solutions. You have to take it upon yourself to create your own solutions. Because this massive piece of legislation, whatever you think about it, isn't solving the problem we're talking about tonight. Okay? Uh, there was a little piece in that legislation when it first came out. Everybody heard about the CLASS Act, a portion of it called CLASS, C-L-A-S-S. -S. What that was is was the government's first attempt to create a government-created uh, long-term care insurance plan. It was going to throw in uh, roughly about $75 a day, but it was a, a voluntary plan. It wasn't mandatory, so some people would have it, some wouldn't. Uh, it would pay $75 a day, which is not enough to cover skilled care. I mean, I give them credit for trying, but it didn't go far enough. But it really doesn't matter because within, uh, it was about two months ago, after doing some calculation, I, I love the way this government works. First, they pass the legislation and tell you we have it. Then what we do, first they pass the legislation. <coughs> and tell you we have this benefit. Then three months later, they do their homework and realize that it can't sustain itself. So they canceled it. Two months ago, so forget about what I just said to the class act. It doesn't exist anymore. They already took it out of the legislation. Okay? So there's nothing in Obamacare that's going to solve this problem. So we got to keep working towards solutions here. So now if you're a veteran, are there veterans benefits available? And there are. Now, Let's distinguish this, and, and uh, I want to take out this little uh, uh, part of the handout that has the, uh, uh, the details uh, of the VA. Uh, I'm not even sure everybody has this. Everybody got this? Everybody got this? We're going to get into this in a little more detail once we got some slides about it. But the thing I wanted to do, the part of the VA benefit we're going to talk about tonight is called special pension. There's a different VA benefit that's a disability compensation. Maybe some of you already have it. I had a vet in my office today. He already had the, uh, the uh, disability compensation. And that is a, uh, a combat activity related benefit, the disability compensation. So in other words, if you have some sort of injury that emanates from uh, uh, a war, uh, being in the, the, a war theater, uh, and you were injured and can connect the injury to what you're suffering today, you can get disability compensation. I'm sorry, do you have a question? Uh, I went down to this, this building right here up on 22nd, uh -huh. and I filled out for that, that, that uh, pension and that they give you when you went to the Viet in Vietnam. I got turned down from that, that place over there. Oh, uh, you did? Yeah, I went well, over there. What were you looking for, the special pension or the disability compensation? Well, I was, I'm getting 10% disability on my ear, on my ear, on All my right. ear. All right, so you're getting it. But they told me that 10% is the highest they can go. Okay. And I got turned down because they told me that I, I am, dis they have disability, I have the, uh, or Agent Orange, and I was uh, at COPD, and they said that's not from the war. That must have came from outside in Chicago somewhere. <laughs> and I told them I said no, and I got a bullet lodged in my back too. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm not going to dispute what you're saying, but I just have a friend of mine. I hooked up with a Dorothy Leclerc down on Taylor Street at the Vietnam Veterans Association. He was shot up in Vietnam, and he has. He has shrapnel on his neck, and he's got a plate in his neck. And he was getting $230 a month. And I said, this is crazy, because I'm at 60%, and I get about five times what he gets. And I sent him to see this woman, and she went back on all his records. He's got back pay coming from his last surgery from 1971. He's got well over $100,000. Okay, see, I went and told these people on Taylor Street 
that I have what they call teropathy in my feet. Oh, that was from that was from walking the streets too much in Chicago. <laughs> and you know, I've been on my feet all my life. I was with the Screaming Eagle 101st Airborne. Do you have a, were you in Vietnam? Yes, I was. And I, go, go. But they lost everything. They said I lost everything. Do you have a DD 214? I, I got a DD 214, but they wouldn't give me nothing. I mean, nothing. Not what anything. Do you, what are you suggesting you do? You see, she's there. She's at the VA at Heinz on Mondays. Her name is Dorothy LeClaire. Yeah. Hang on, wait a second. I got a card in my pocket. We pack. should, um, why don't you mark this down and then you can give it to him and maybe this will... You don't even the... have to be in combat. If you were in Vietnam and if you were in Korea, they used Agent 